Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today we're gonna to be reviewing Trenton's favorite spirit. This is, I drink rum all the time. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know anything about rum, really. I, I like it in a daiquiri. I, I, I get was, you. I was a little surprised when you yeah. when you started laying these things out, <laughs> and uh, you kind of put me on the spot here because I know nothing. Well, we have quite a few people that's actually asked really for quite some time for a rum show. Okay, and and let's put it out there, Trenton, because I am not a rum professional. I'm not even a rum aficionado. I am. You know, so I would just, out of what I have down here at the bar, I would consider these my top five sipping rums that I have here. How often do you, like, <clears throat> actually have a, a sip or a, a pour of, yeah, of maybe, a rum? Maybe once a month. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Not a lot. But some of these are really good. I'm, I'm really, really curious to get your thoughts because I, I really think a few of them you might love. Okay. Not even like. Love. Love. You think I might go buy them after this? I, you might. All right. Honestly. <clears throat> so let's see what you got. Before we get started, <laughs> any of you out there that can, you know, give us some suggestions of what you feel might be on the bar top or some things that I might miss or even help me with a little education, I'm all up for that. So I even lined them up in order, Trenton, from left to right as my least favorite to my favorite. But again, these would be what I would consider my top five sipping rums down here at the bar. Okay. All right. The very first one we have down there is RL Seals 12 here. It's a Barbados rum. Kit hooked me up with that. Are we trying this one? Yeah. First? Yeah. Oh, that's starting, first we're we're starting with the worst yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I, I keep, trust you. Here. You know, this is still my top five, so okay. keep that in mind. I trust you. This is a 12 year. This comes from Foursquare. It's named after Foursquare's founder, and it's blended before aging and after aging. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it is a Barbados rum. Okay. All right. I I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what I'm looking for, nose or palate okay. wise, when it comes to a rum. It's very sweet, right. like a cane sugar kind of thing. I'm, yes. I'm right. That's rum is like a cane sugar distillation some, thing. Some are molasses, some are okay. cane, some are this, some are that. Okay. It's really nice. It's really it's kind of almost butterscotchy. You think? Yeah, a little bit. When I first started drinking, like appreciating stuff instead of just like slamming some Jack Daniels or something. <laughs> I, I remember trying rum and it was just the funkiest thing. And this was like a number mm -hmm. of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't remember liking that. But for if this is considered funky, I, I, I like this. This is it's nice. nice. Yeah. Mm. Are these all like low proof? Whoa. 92 proof. And this one's going to run you about 45 bucks, roughly. Is it is it standard for rum to be kind of a lower proof like a Japanese whiskey? No, no. we get over here, 120 proof. Okay, so we're we're, we're working our way up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm really <laughs> tasting. There, there's a really nice uh, excuse me sugary sweet element. To yes, it, it is. I, I agree. But man, it's. Like, if if I were to eat a tumbleweed, <laughs> that I mean that it's like it's dusty. It, it it's dusty, but it, it it tastes old. There's definitely some barrel spices on my notes. I wrote last night. I've got some barrel spices, so maybe that's what you're referring to in maybe. that. And there is some there is a slight bitterness to it too. I get the bitterness, and, for and sure. I thought that might lean <clears throat> into your palate profile because you know you do like a little bit of bitterness and some yeah. cocktails and whatnot. Yeah, it is a little bit slightly bitter too, but there is some some sugarcane sweetness of some something like that going on there yeah. for sure with some barrel spices. Now this next one is Rum Barbon Court Estate Reserve. 15 year and it comes from Haiti. Okay. Now, this one this one gets a little funky. Just this one was a little funky. <laughs> <laughs> this one's 86 proof and cost you about 60 bucks, okay? I like that. It's better. aged in French limousine oak barrels. Like a car? Possible. <laughs> Seriously. Car. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. That's what I think of when I think of a limousine. What does that mean for a barrel? <laughs> that's it's interesting. It's not as sweet as this. It's almost like a heavy molasses or a heavier yeah. something. It has some. You know what, Trent? To me, it has some like some odd, um, 
nut type profile, like 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 a walnut. Yeah, maybe, but I'm even seeing more like a hazelnut, even or you know something along that line. A little nutty. Okay. I'll say that th this is more up my alley than this one. Mm. The the finish isn't bitter and it's not mm -hmm. funky or anything. Uh, the proof, you know, a little low, but it allows those flavors to kind of be enhanced mm -hmm. a little bit, which is unusual for me because I feel right. like with a bourbon, when mm -hmm. the proof's lower, I find mm -hmm. it hard to get those flavors. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it, to me, it got some toffee, a little bit of nut. I still get a little nutty on that a little bit. Maybe some cinnamon. I can get some cinnamon or yeah. uh, like a clove now that I know what a clove is. Perfect. A little clove. Good, yeah. good on you, buddy. Interesting. Yeah. So you do like that a little bit. That's all right. What? How much is this? It's going to be about 60 bucks, roughly. Honestly, like when I'm thinking of pricing, I'm thinking of bourbon pricing. Mm -hmm. So 15 year for 60 bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know much about the the distillation or the the aging process for yeah. rum. I would imagine. And, and personally, I don't either, Trent. Okay. To be honest with you, I, I just know, <clears throat> you know, I just know a little bit of the yeah. forefront knowledge, and that's it. That's all I know. So cool. Yeah, that's not bad. Actually, I like that. All right, the next one I really like. It's a Havana Club. It comes from Cuba. Is this right? from is Cuba? This from Kevin Kent. Yeah. This yeah. Is, okay. See, and I don't know how much that even costs. So people, if you know how much this costs, this is their Selección. And it's it's uh, 90, 90 proof, but they say it's cast strength. I don't get. I, I don't understand. I, I don't. But they say That's it is. They say it is. They say it's cast strength. And I'm curious because I do get some bite on there, like a like like a cast strength type bourbon. But I really like this. And my brother Kent hooked me up with this through his friend Kevin. And, and I apologize. I really don't know how much they paid for it. That's nice. <clears throat> I love the nose of this. It's butterscotchy, I think. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice, really sweet. Caramel, molasses kind of thing. A little ethanol, though, I get. See? Yeah. For 90 proof? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mm. <clears throat> I didn't get much of a bite mm -hmm. from it. It's super sweet, though. It's almost <clears throat> like a funkier sweet tart kind of thing. I don't know how else to describe what how, I'm tasting. How, how is it that you can come up with sweet tarts with rum? It, I mean, it is what it how is, did man. You do you know? that? <laughs> when you have the palate of an expert. Uh, no, I've got. I was only taking one sip. I got to go in again. I got to try the sweet tart thing. This is nice, though. I will say this. I don't know if it's because in my mind I know that it goes like five to one, mm -hmm. but this is. I like this better than the two. Mm -hmm. The flavor's better. I think the proof, the proof being a little bit higher, helps it. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding some raisins and figs in there, Trenton, kind of a thing. It, 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 it it's almost similar to me of that rye that we like, the hard truth rye. Uh huh. You know that little bit of those kind of flavors that are in it, a little bit, with some nutmeg or something like that. I could see where you come up with the fig. Yeah. It's it's like a caramelized figure of like a fig newton that you might get from the grocery store. That's sure. kind of what yeah. what I can find in there. That's what I think. That's a, that's good. Yeah. I like that. I'd yeah. buy that and drink it. Yeah, surprisingly, it's great stuff. Unfortunately, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, Cuban rums are just impossible to get. Yeah. I have no idea how Kevin got his hands on this, but I appreciate it. Kevin has regardless. his ways, you know. Yes, he does. All right, these last two I think are going to knock your socks off. This is weeded. Okay, it's not weeded. You ready for this? This is grander. Okay, this is a Panama rum. It's 12 years. All right, so it was aged in ex bourbon barrels for 12 years, and then it was finished for 11 months in a weeded bourbon barrel, supposedly Weller Foolproof. Interesting. Now, I always have to give credit where credit is due. I've I heard about this and started looking for it after I saw the information on the Whiskey Tornado with Lance. Oh, okay. And Lance is the one that mentioned that, that this was the 11-month finish on this was Weller foolproof. Cool. I didn't know he now, did rum on, stuff. It was just a little blip he did. Oh, cool. And he, and he basically said, hey, you're missing out if you don't try to find this. And I have to agree with him 100% because, to me, this is fantastic. It's great. I'm gonna be taking that one home. <laughs> I told you they got a few other ones out. This is their single barrel, single barrel series uh -huh. that they do. So really, really nice. That is really good. 
Yeah, this is 107.8 proof, and it's about about 90 bucks. You know where I found this at? Huh. It was on our Tennessee trip. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't get any rum influence at all. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's it's more of like a weeded bourbon, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Rich toffee. It, it tastes like a bourbon, man. It does. It's, it's great stuff. Wow. It's really great <clears throat> stuff. All right, last but not least, buddy, this is my favorite. I've, I've heard and I've seen these four square bottles, Trenton, a lot of times. I just never picked it up because they're a little pricey. I, I, we, I bought this at Vine and Table in Carmel, okay. Indiana. Okay. okay. It's been a couple years ago, so I'm trying to remember, and I think it was around $100 to $120, but these can get a little bit expensive. Okay. All right. This is their exceptional <coughs> cask series. All right. This is their four square 2008, 120 proof. Aged okay. 12 years in X bourbon barrels. It's right up my alley. This is uh, pot still and coffee still rums that are blended together and then aged in X bourbon. Cool. 120 proof. Ooh, that is dark. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. I can see just uh, just based on the nose of all these, I can see why this might. Land, <clears throat> land number one for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's just so nice. We're hacking because we just did the Arby's show, <laughs> and uh, when we when both of us eat, we like get some crap going on up in here. So sorry about that. You just had to bring a you just had to bring a beef sandwich into a into a bourbon review. Eh. Ooh, the the mm. dark fruit. Mm. Prune, plum, whatever you had going on in here, fig, is elevated so much more on this oh. one. And the proof really dials in that That flavor. I absolutely love that. That's good. And as you can see, I've had this a couple years, and I just take, you know, I probably have that little pour maybe once a month, maybe, if that. Because I want to save it. It's just so good. Yeah. On my notes, I wrote a praline. Now that's like a candied pecan. Okay. I was gonna say I don't know what that is. That's a like a candied sugar, you okay. know, sugar yeah. pecan. Oh, it's just it's just so good. And and you're right too. I mean, there's all kinds. There's some rich fruit in there. I also wrote on my notes buttery. It's very buttery okay. on, the I can see that. on the palate. I'm not yeah. talking about a buttered note. I'm talking about buttery on the like palate. A, like a, the way it coats. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest with you. I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting too much from the from the lineup you had here. But this, the last three, I think, are just incredible. They are very good. And, and again, I, you know, we have so much going on here, and we both work full time. <clears throat> I don't have time to educate myself properly on rums. I just Maybe don't. somebody in the comments will help you out. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So if there's some that should be up here. Maybe I misspoke a little bit here. If I did, please correct so everybody has the exact knowledge we need to know. But I thought this was fun and I like to do this once in a while. Yeah. I like for myself, for you, and for everyone out there to kind of broaden your horizons once in a while and try something different. Coming, coming from somebody that really only likes bourbon, whiskey, rye, that kind of thing, Personally, I might I would probably stay away from those two. This one's a little funky for me. It's a little bitter I don't think that it the and take consideration. That's a $45 bottle. Okay. So I yeah. get you there. I, I can understand that um, This one I was like, okay, maybe but after going through the flavor profiles of these three um, I would rather just drink those three than they yeah. go to something like these this. two over here are definitely yeah. four bourbon drinkers, man Oh, yeah, it's just it's just really solid stuff. Hey, that's all we got for you today Thanks so much for watching and hope you learned something and hope maybe after reading the comments I'll learn a little something too as always we ask you to please drink responsibly and We'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar See you later <laughs>